Are you thinking of buying a property, but you're worried about the market? Should you wait for the market to go down and then buy at a better time? Is the market ever gonna go back up? What's gonna happen? Should you time the market when you look to buy a property? If that's you, keep watching because that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Hi, my name is Jamie Eklund and I'm a realtor in the beautiful state of Colorado. On this channel, we talk about all things Colorado related. We talk about real estate, we talk about cities, and we talk about the neighborhoods. If these things interest you, then hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification to be notified next time I post a video. And if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Now I talk to people all the time that are looking to move to Colorado and they're asking me, what is life like here? And I try to do the best I possibly can to help them navigate the decision whether they should move to Colorado or whether they shouldn't or what city they should live in. So if that's you, get a hold of me. I'd love to talk to you and I'd love to help you make such a big decision. All right, so today we are going to be talking about the age old question, should you time the market when it comes to buying a property? My short answer is no. I hold to the old uh, saying that financial analysts use, it's time in the market always beats timing the market. I totally agree with that when it comes to real estate. Now, some people are asking, well, what if interest rates go too high or what if interest rates cause the market to, to go down? Well, we don't really know what interest rates are going to do. I do think it's going to cause the market to slow down. But regardless, I actually think some price points are going to continue to appreciate maybe for as much as two more years. And so if they continue to appreciate, you buy today and in two years they level off and go down a bit, you still may buy in a better price point today than you could in five years. The ultimate answer is we don't know what the market's going to do exactly. If anybody did, those people are going to be multi-billionaires because they can foresee those things. The reality is we have gigantic corporations that are betting on what the market's going to do and a lot of those corporations are getting it wrong. So can lowly people, lowly realtor like me or buyer like you get it right? Maybe. If we do, it's going to be just luck. I've been asked, been asked the question for the last seven years, is this the top of the market? And there's been times where I've kind of thought, well, maybe we are at the top of the market. But I've been wrong every time. So if you ask me today, are we at the top of the market? I'd say, I, honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. And it depends on the price point too. So I can't predict these things. You can't predict these things. But what we can predict is this, that when you buy a property in Northern Colorado, historically speaking, it's going to gain interest rate at 5.5% year over year. When you take a 10 year period and you average that, that's what we're gonna see. And so with that being said, it really doesn't matter so much when you buy, it matters if you can hold it. So that's what I would ask yourself is, can you hold the property? Now, interest rates still have a part of that because maybe you, when interest rates were 3%, you could easily afford a $500,000 property. But now with interest rates at 5%, it makes it pretty uncomfortable. So my advice to buyers is maybe you need to lower that price point, lower it down to 400,000 instead because you don't want to get in a place where you're so strapped financially because you're paying way too much in that mortgage. You don't want to get there. So you need to adjust the purchase price a little bit. Now, will interest rates go back down to 3%? Who knows? My feeling is eventually they probably will go back down. And when they do, you refinance, you lower your payment. And that works out really well, regardless of what your house is worth, you can probably get that done. 
Now, one of the things that I've seen over the many years I've been a real estate agent is I've seen people try to time the market. I've seen buyers or sellers who sell their property because they think it's at the very top of the market and they go rent for a while waiting for the bubble to burst and the market to crash. Well, I'm telling you, look, right now, I know some of those buyers and they're trying to get back in the market, but the market has outpaced them. They sold their house at 400,000, you know, three or four years ago. They thought they were they were doing awesome. Now 400,000 doesn't buy you a whole lot. And they're thinking, wow, we can't afford the house that we sold. What happened to the market? Again, they were trying to time it and it didn't work out very well for them. I don't recommend it. I also talked to some people who are just very particular about what they want and, and they moved in with their kids and they were here living for a little while and they started at 450 and then that went to 550 and now it's at 650 because the market has appreciated at such a rapid pace that they're getting outrun by the market. So how do you prevent that? Well, ultimately you prevent that by being in the market. When you own a house and the market's appreciating, your house is appreciating along with it. So now all of a sudden, if that house went from 450 to 650 and you want to go buy another house at 650, you're selling a house at 650, you go buy a house at 650, it's not that big of a deal because you have so much equity already built into that house. That is my recommendation for most buyers. Now, there's a lot of factors that go into that. Affordability is a huge factor, but also how long are you going to be in the area? So if that's you, if you're wrestling with these things, there's a lot of factors to take into consideration. And so I can't give you just a blanket answer. I'm just giving you my opinion on certain factors. But I would love to sit down with you or call you or text or email, whatever it takes. I'd love to talk to you and help process some of these things with you to see if it is the right time for you to buy a property and maybe you should get into the market and let that market work for you instead of against you. If that's you, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.